Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Here is the question. <coughs> in a particular system of units, physical quantity can be expressed in terms of electric charge, small e. Electron mass, m, e, Planck's constant, small h, and Coulomb's constant, k, equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. Where epsilon naught is the permittivity of vacuum, in terms of this physical constants, the dimension of the magnetic field is uh, B equal to E raised to power alpha, M E raised to power beta, H raised to power gamma and K raised to power delta. And we have to find out alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta equal to. And this question is asked JE advanced 2022. It is difficult to learn all the dimension formula. So therefore, you should have to be learn the derived physical quantity and their formulas. For example, magnetic field, you know that when current carrying conductor passing through the magnetic field, some force is exerted and that force is equal to I, L and B. B for magnetic field, I for current, L for length and F for force. Here, F is M, L, P minus 2. I is a fundamental unit, so substitute as it is. L is also fundamental unit, I and uh, L, okay? Now, M, L, T minus 2 upon I and L. Then we get the dimension formula of magnetic field, M. Here, L, L cancel. Then it can be written as L0. It is easier to or convenient to compare with left hand side and right hand side dimension formula. So, therefore, we have to put L raised to power 0 and uh, T minus 2 and here I minus 1. Okay. It is the dimension formula of magnetic field. First, you know that E is given that charge. So, charge is also derived formula. Uh, where we get I equal to Q by T. And it is a fundamental unit. Time is also fundamental unit. Then charge is equal to I into T. So here the di dimension formula of charge. Mass is also fundamental unit. So M E can be written as M. Next, Planck constant. You know that energy equal to H nu. Here energy means M. L2 T minus 2 and uh, we have to find out the Planck constant. So put as it is here the frequency and the dimension formula frequency T raised to power minus 1. Then M L2 T minus 2 upon T minus 1 equal to H. M L2 T minus 2 plus 1 then it become minus 1. So here we get the dimension formula of Planck constant. Now at last K. K is also derived by Coulomb's force. F equal to K into Q1, Q2 by R square. You know that what is the dimension formula force? M L T minus 2. Here K and is the charge square. Q1, Q2. Two charge quantity multiplied with. So therefore Q square. What is the charge? Here charge is I T. I T square because q1 q2 multiplied and r square means length square then m l t minus 2 l square upon i square and t square equal to k then m l q t raised to power minus 4 and uh, i minus 2 here is the dimension formula of K. Now, we get all the dimension formulas. B, here the charge, here the mass, plane constant, 
and k. Now substitute this all this value in these given conditions. Now substitute all this value in the place of beta, uh, magnetic field, charge, mass, Planck constant, and k. Now simplify it. This term m l raised to power zero t minus two i raised to power minus one. Here i raised to power alpha t raised to power alpha m raised to power beta. Here m raised to power gamma l raised to power two gamma t raised to power minus gamma m raised to power delta l raised to power three delta t raised to power minus four delta and i raised to power minus two delta. Now Again, simplify it. M L zero T minus two I raised to power minus one. You can see that M M raised to power beta M raised to power gamma. So by using exponent law, same base, their addition of their powers beta, gamma, and delta. Now L. Where is the L? You can see that here the L two gamma. Plus three delta. Now time t here alpha minus gamma minus four delta. Then i i is alpha and minus two delta. So therefore we have simplified according to the power. Compare. To the left hand side, here m raised to power is nothing means one. First equation beta gamma delta equal to one. Sorry, one. Second l two gamma plus three delta equal to zero. Third alpha minus gamma minus four delta equal to minus two. And fourth alpha minus two delta equal to minus one. So it is first, second. Third and fourth equations. Now solving these equations, alpha minus gamma minus four delta equal to minus two, alpha minus two delta equal to minus one. Multiply two in second equation. So alpha minus gamma minus four delta equal to minus two, two alpha. Two to the four delta equal to minus two. Change the sign. It is zero. This cancel out. Minus alpha minus gamma. Then uh, alpha minus alpha equal to gamma, or gamma equal to minus alpha. Okay. So here we get. Fifth equation. Now solving second and fourth. Two gamma plus three delta equal to zero, and alpha minus two delta equal to minus one. Then multiply by three to second, and this is the two. Then two to the four gamma plus three to the six delta equal to zero. Three alpha. Minus six delta equal to minus three. Let's cancel out three alpha minus four plus four gamma equal to minus three. Now you can see that gamma equal to minus alpha. We have already find out. So now substitute this value in the place of gamma. We get the alpha. Three alpha minus four alpha equal to minus three. Then minus alpha equal to minus three. Then alpha equal to three. So here we get the first value. And you know that gamma equal to minus alpha. So gamma equal to minus three. So we get third value. Now this value substitute two in the second equation. Two gamma. Plus three delta equal to zero. Here two and gamma. The value of gamma is minus three. Plus three delta equal to zero. Three to the six minus six plus three delta equal to zero. 
3 delta equal to 6, then delta equal to 6 by 3 means delta equal to 2. So, we get third value delta equal to 2. Now, substitute in a first equation beta. Here gamma is minus 3, here delta is 2 plus 2 and 1. Then it is minus 1 equal to 1, then beta equal to 2. So here we get 2. So we get all this value alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Okay. Now what we have to find out? We have to find out alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. Alpha, uh, alpha beta, gamma and delta. Then what is the value of alpha? 3. What is the value of beta is 2 gamma minus 3 and delta plus 2. So, P3 cancel out and correct answer is 4. I hope so. You understand this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video and yes, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.